I don't need to tell you what happened in Manchester Arena. I, I don't need to tell you that it was the whose concert it was. You know all this. You you've seen the news. You read on social media. It's unfortunate and it's sad because kids were targeted, and there's nothing more disgusting than that. Now, if you agree with me that targeting kids is disgusting and terrible, I'm with you on that. If, if whoever's behind this, um, not just the bomber, but if anybody else was involved, it should be caught, should be brought to justice. And anyone plotting something similar should be stopped immediately. We have to deal with that. But understanding the the immediate causes of something, that's easy. The underlying causes of something is not as easy. And it takes explaining, but it's not that difficult to understand. And, and what's amazing to me is how so many people are just ignorant about what's happening. So first of all, we need to understand that a vast majority of Muslims around the world are peaceful. They just want to practice their religion in peace. And that's, that's all they want to do. In fact, a vast majority of victims of these terrorists are Muslims. They're getting killed more than anybody else. So they, they understand that it's a problem. And we cannot lose sight of that, no matter how, how terrible these attacks are. We can't lose sight of that. We also can't lose sight of our involvement in a lot of this. I can't speak that much about the UK, right? I know some, but not, not as much as I should. But when it comes to the United States, I know a lot of the shit we've done. And yeah, look, I get it. I mean, the UK helped us in some of those instances, but we're, the United States is the... The leader, and you know, like it's we're, we're the ringleader. If if killing kids is wrong, and it is, it's terrible. Then what the Saudis are doing to kids in Yemen is terrible too. They're bombing kids in Yemen. They're starving them. Look at what they're doing in the Sudan. And believe me, you, you'll be hearing a lot about Yemen in 2018, 2019. Mark my words. So we need to understand that. We need to understand that when the Israelis bomb Palestine and kill kids, that's wrong too. When they pick up dead kids from the rubble or kids playing soccer in a... In the beach get bombed that's wrong too there's a lot of wrong going on here a lot of wrong you know I've always told people what do you think you know Trump has only tripled down on the drone strikes it's even worse now but under Barack Obama I mean he was a drone man in chief how do you think people feel in many of these Muslim countries, when a drone kills one of their kids, or their father, or their mother, their grandmother, hearing stories about kids saying, I don't like, you know, I, I, don't, I don't look forward to a clear day. I remember when I was a kid, I loved clear days. Go out, play soccer, basketball, right? go out with my friends and play. No, not them. They, they want it to be cloudy. They want it to be raining, storming. Um, I mean, terrible weather all around. doesn't matter because the drones aren't, aren't out at that time. I mean, it kind of reminds me of the song, Have You Ever Seen the Rain on a Sunny Day? And because we have a hand in what's happening here.
right? It's, we wouldn't have a Syrian refugee crisis if, if the Pentagon wasn't aiding rebels on one side in Syria and the CIA was aiding rebels on the other side in Syria. And this was proven, by the way. And then we just started bombing the hell out of them for no reason. Because till this day, we haven't picked a side yet. And then we found out, oh, look at this. The people we're funding is these, these fucking radicals, which we put in this position most Muslim countries were far more secular in the 80s and 70s especially than they are today and Saudi Arabia has been behind this because they want to spread Wahhabism but do, do they get put on the on the ban list no you know what we do we give them Private jets to leave the fucking country after an attack happens in 9-11. That's what we do. And now you got Trump over there like bowing to them and dancing with them and you know, telling them they're great friends. And it didn't sound anything like fucking Trump. I don't know what the fuck that was. I mean, where the fuck was the home freaking Islamophobe? Where was he? All of it, he sounded like George Bush over there. Because he knows who daddy is. Come on, give us cheap oil. Tell you what, Saudi Arabia. We'll, we'll, we'll sell you all these cheap weapons. Here's $400 billion, man. Here you go. Taxpayer money here. Keep bombing kids in Yemen. Keep, keep creating blockades so humanitarian aid can't come in while they fucking starve to death. You keep doing that. You keep, be, I mean, beheading people for being atheists and um, punishing women for driving and, and passing stupid laws. Like if a woman gets raped, she has to have... You know, four or five witnesses to, to prove that she was raped. You keep doing that. We just want cheap oil. Here's some weapons for you to play with. For Keep spreading your Wahhabism. They're the ones funneling money to the terrorists. Not Iran. Look up the last time a Sunni Muslim did some freaking terrorist attack. Look it up. Maybe if you educated yourself on the type of Muslims, you'll understand this, right? This radicalized form that ISIS is 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 the same that Saudi Arabia is. The only difference is Saudi Arabia controls a country, right? And and Saudi Arabia does behead people, does enforce the same type of laws and, and same hypocrisy that ISIS does, right? They, they tell women, you know, that they got to wear this, they got to wear that. You can't drive, you can't do this. You, you got to follow the Quran. You got to do this, you got to do that, right? If you do that, you get beheaded. No, you cannot practice any other religion. This is the state religion and that's it. Point blank, period. All right. Uh, we know all this shit's going on in Saudi Arabia. You know, okay. This is absolutely... Insane what's going on. Yeah, yeah, but what does that have to do with the... It doesn't excuse anyone from doing what they did. The bomber is a despicable person. Right? N no one has a right to do that. But do you or do you not want to fix this problem? So what do you suggest? Well, I suggest we get the fuck out of there. I suggest we stop... You know, being mercenaries for the fucking Saudis. That, that's what I suggest. I suggest we stop acting like we, we're so moral and, and oh no. And, and stop accusing dictators in Syria of, of, of gassing kids with no proof, by the way. Right? And this is both the Obama and Trump administration. They never provided any proof that Assad gassed those kids. Ever. And we just have to believe them. Like it has nothing to do with the fact that the Saudis want that fucking oil. Okay? Like it has, like it has nothing to do with the fact that they said no to a pipeline that the Saudis wanted. And coincidentally, for no reason at all, a dictator with complete power just targeted kids with chemical weapons. And if you believe he did it once, in the, in the midst of winning a war against ISIS, he did it again. Really?
so we can't so spare me how do you think people on the other side of the world feel when we bomb their kids how do you think they feel so 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 the, that anger you felt because I know I felt it when, when those kids were, were, were you know were targeted and killed by this despicable bomber how do you think people on the other side of the world feel when people get bombed how do you think they feel you know and, and I mentioned earlier that this 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 extremist version of it we put it into power we funded them the CIA trained them the Saudis have their hand in it too That's the reality. Oh, we, we, we bombed the caves. We, we made those caves. A lot of those caves in Afghanistan, we built them. Because we were helping, right, at the time when jihadists was a good thing, by the way, right? Um, we we're helping the jihadists fight the Soviets. We taught them tactics. We did a lot of things. We, by design, make that happen. And, and, and now we're shocked, right? Now we're shocked. That, look, look, look up Afghanistan, man, in the 80s. Or not, maybe not the 80s, but like the 70s, 60s. And look at it now. It, like, it went back a century. We did that. Or we had a hand in it. We had a direct hand in that. So look man, this is... We have to acknowledge what the problem is here. Right? Is that there's a lot of wrong going on. And we're having a hand in a lot of the wrong that's happening. You know, we have to stop selling weapons to the Saudis people know this right you, like, you don't think people know like oh look the Americans uh, you don't think of these countries that are getting destroyed by the Saudis and just thinking to themselves well look I mean the president's over there he's, he's dancing with them and bowing to them and, and 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 you know getting gifts from them and you know look at them I never seen the Donald Trump dance in my life the dude was freaking he almost busted out a break dance I mean shit's insane So, it's, what are you going to do, you know, what are you going to do? Anyway, and, and, and now in the age of social media, they can reach out all over the world and, you know, and, um, and I'm telling you, it, it, it's only a matter of time, I mean, these bombings are going to keep happening. But what I want people to understand is, um, well, they could be influenced by the fact that, you know, they don't like the West. Um, and in some cases, that is the case. But overall, this is, some of these attacks are, in their mind, retaliation. And, and it's, it's retaliation for the West can feel some of the pain that is being felt in the Muslim world. The Muslim world cured itself of this very extreme version of Islam a long time ago. And then we stepped in and we helped them gain a lot of power. We toppled dictators and assisted extreme radicals like ISIS and ISIL for a long time till it wasn't politically viable right and then we turn around and we're like where do these people come from it must be the religion it's a radicalized version of the religion right you could say well look at the look, read the Quran it tells them the Quran to do it well that, that's how they interpret it right 
The Bible says a lot of fucked up shit too. Somewhere in the Bible it says that if you rape somebody, if you rape a woman, you know, you just give the the dad a couple, you know, a little bit of gold, and you know, you gotta marry the girl, and she she has to marry you. But does that mean that, that if a Christian goes and, and, and rapes some girl and tries to do that, that we've got to blame all Christians? No. That, that's asinine. That's insane. Right? When the KKK does something and they call themselves Christian, I'm not going to turn around and, and just say, oh, oh yeah, you know, that they represent all Christians. Because that's asinine. That's stupid. And believe me, Part of this is, and the big goal is, that they want people to hate Muslims. That's what they want. They want you to hate Muslims. They want you to blame all Muslims. So more Muslims could become radicalized. In their mind, that's how they view it. That's how they see it. So that's all I have to say about it. This is D-Style, and I'm out.